everyone, this is John with Front Range Anglers, and today we're going to be tying up the Quildagon. So in the vise, we have a size 14 Fasna F-420 hook, and size 14, and then we also are going to be using a 2.8 millimeter black tungsten slotted jig bead, and then for the thread, we're just using some 70 UTC in black, nothing too crazy. I'm going to get my thread on there. And I'm gonna get ready to tie in my tail fibers. Now, the normal pattern for this, and one that I will use quite a bit still, is gonna be some CDL. But today I'm going to be using some gray pivots, just because I've been liking tying in those lately. And I think they look pretty good on the fly, so I'm gonna be using the gray ones of those. But CDL is another one that I'd highly recommend. It looks really good on these. So for the flash, I'm just using a Helix flash in fluorescent chartreuse, but really any, you know, uh, flash, like flash boo or anything like that will work just fine for you. And you can do a number of different colors. I'm just using the chartreuse for this one but you can do red, you can do orange, purple, yellow. Really, the sky's the limit. So we're gonna tie that in, wrap it all the way to the top. Trim off that excess, just like so. And then we're gonna get our quills for the body. For the quills, I'm just using some hand-stripped uh, golden olive quills for this. I'm gonna tie that in, and when I'm tying my thread back, I wanna leave a nice little section for the hot spot, so I'm just like that. Work that thread back up. And then you can use hackle pliers, but I just like to hand wrap them personally when I get nice long fibers. And all I'm doing is trying to get even spacing, getting those black ends to meet up with the lighter ends when I come forward. And one thing you'll see me do as well is just kind of press on my finger when I'm going in that front wrap to make sure that it doesn't loosen on me. Just like so. Do a wrap or two to make sure it's locked in. Go ahead and cut that off. Build a nice little black collar, nothing too crazy. Gonna finish it off with a few whip finishes. Make sure that's nice and tight. All right, and now we can hit it with the good stuff, that good old solar res, or any UV resin in your choice. If you get too much, you can just kind of dot it off just like that, turn it upside down. And we are all done. So that is the Quildagon with a little fluorescent flash at the back. And you can definitely tie these with flash up at the collar, different color beads. This is just one of the color combinations that I really like doing. You can do them in tons of different sizes and switch them up. So tie them up. <laughs>